to start recording what happened is jack loot the dungeon jack find lizard heart great beast core he go to crystal fanboy crystal fanboy tell him that that is the part of the sun fragment from his ancient kingdom that ruled the the all continents were one long ago and they were one big kingdom and he was one of the people of that kingdom and the the, the fool fragment was the star the star the star gem which was with the mother rose long ago when their kingdom fell at some point a man had found the mother road and the star the 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 star gem the star gem was fragmented and hidden from him so he could not get it but he did get the mother rose and that is what you missed out on a future jack okay there you go All right and tiny this is for future this is for you this is for future you. You don't you don't listen to any of that isn't for you. <laughs> so you and get out. <laughs> you, <laughs> you get out. Don't cry, stop being sad, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> when you get flying in the wall. <laughs> right, okay, so you you guys get out of the cave. Tiny goes look you look over here and you see a huge what looks like an armada of uh the king's soldiers and a couple of ice mages outside the temple and you can Not somewhat priest right you no, the priest isn't there they're ice mages ice, ice okay. mages um you can roll to hit over less than the conversation you can use zen sense which will incre increase the distance of where you can hear things okay i'm gonna use zen sense to listen because your range is like here but zen sensor reaches it further out Okay, that works. You gain about 5 XP towards Zen Sense. Okay, so. Yeah, and you listen. You, you go, um, oh, you listen. You zen out and you listen. And you hear. There's the location of the Sun Temple. Is that one ready? We're about, we're about to begin the raid. The other priest goes, yes, we're ready. We're beginning the breaching spell ritual right now. And he goes, all right. We get in and kill everything we find and find the, the, find the fragment and bring it to the king. Come on. <laughs> So they begin. You see the ice mages just blow up part of the, part of the uh, part of the ground here, and they start building. They start just floating down and building ice paths. You see the soldiers just funneling into the hole, and he goes, "Oh, good thing we were out of there in time. Who, why are they here, though? Are they after dungeon?" Shh, be quiet, tiny. Okay. okay. <laughs> and he's like, he's got his face in the snow. <laughs> he's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, you wait a bit. Are you guys going to wait a bit? What are you guys going to do? Yeah, we're going to wait until they're gone. So, they all funnel... They all funnel into the hole to raid it. Well, unfortunately, I find it fucking... You know, already raid... You stole it all. You stole the loot. I'm going to be pretty mad about that. <laughs> they're going to raid it. You can hear somewhat of complaining. <laughs> but, they're in the okay. underground. Okay, they're underground. Hmm. So we're gonna go around this way, back to Tiny's village. I thought, come on, let's go. And you guys are ba 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 ba. You start walking this way, but roll. Have you roll for luck? Roll for your luck. Ooh, twelve. Hmm. It does not notice you, but you do see a slime in the distance. A small slime, but still a slime. But it does not notice you yet. You can take a wider berth okay. around it. Uh, yeah, because my armor's destroyed. Okay, so you, you walk, you walk around it, and you avo you avoid it. You take a wider berth around, you avoid it. It takes a little bit longer, you avoid it. You make your way on the way back. You cross the river without a hitch and get into the cave hole. This time, there's no bandits there, and then you're at the village. <laughs> now. This whole, this whole, this whole, it is night time, so this has taken the entire day, this dungeon raid. So, it is at the end of the first day you've been given by the priest, by the way. Just wanted to tell you, because it's taken the whole day to do this entire dungeon. Delete, delete. <laughs> I killed them all. They're all dead. <laughs> I'll delete you too. <laughs> the fuck? Oh. <laughs> wait, 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 because you're so small, I think, 
I raise you up so I can run. Oof. Oh, that's cool. Anyway, right. Let's get back to the game. Get back to the video game. Is you not a character piece? You're not a fucking character piece, mate. I'm a fucking chav. Hey mate, you got a fag? You hey got mate. a very old fag? You got, you, got fag. Puff. you got puff, you got puff. You got puff. You taking a piss? You taking a wally wop? You got a wally wop? You got a bolly bop? Give us a fag. Give us a fag, mate. You got a bolly wop? <laughs> a bibbly bobbly? <laughs> okay, so you make it back. The tiny's village. Hey mate, you got a fag? Come on, give us a puff. So, it is night time, so it is almost the end. You have the night, and then it's the end of the first day you were given by... This is not someone that should be there. Um, I just have to spawn these guys in. I'll be the great priest, and this will be a watcher. And the watcher. There we go. Right, so you guys come in. The old guys are... And, you, and they kind of notice you guys. Oh... He's like, Tony, did you close the door? And he's like, I did, I did, I did. <laughs> and Tony's like, look what I got, look what I got. And they're like, Ooh, and they all like, step back. He's like, he got lizarded. <laughs> he goes, yeah, I killed it, I killed it. Oh, with my friend here, they helped me too. <laughs> we did it together, together. So, <laughs> he walks in the village. And Tony goes, hey, everyone, everyone get out here. <laughs> and all the orcs kind of just, all the orcs come out. Tiny, you hear boom, boom. And Tiny dad just like blunts under the, under the crown and kind of comes out. And he goes what? And he's got like a nighttime hat on, his nighttime clothes on. <laughs> he goes what is it, Tiny? What are you yelling for? And go, me and my friend, we raid dungeon. We find big loot, and we defeated monster. And Tiny dad's like what? And he comes over. You kill great lizard. And he grabs the head, and the head is like Tiny. <laughs> Dad's hand. He goes. He goes, very good, Tiny. And he puts his hand on his shoulder. I'm very proud of you, Tiny. And he goes, <laughs> Thank you, Papa. <laughs> My friend up too. He goes, You, you two, great warriors. Great warriors, we knight your name down. We never forget your names. Great warriors, you two now. And they have all the orcs seem to come around. And all the orcs that seem to ignore you guys is real like, they all seem to immediately like switch around the moment he says you guys are warriors. And they're like, they're like, yeah, yeah, praise the warriors. Time for feast, 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 feast. <laughs> and the elder comes out and he's like, hold on, everybody calm down. Let me talk to them. And he's like, what was the temple you went in, by the way? What did you find? I say, do you guys miss the sun? And he goes, I remember that I'm the only one here that saw the sun. No one else here. None of, no, no, even though my son here never got to saw the sun. But yes. He's like, what is sun? <laughs> and he's like, big torch in sky, but don't look too long or hurt eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what Tiny says. <laughs> what do you say? I say, I think I found a way to bring it back to this land. And he goes, oh, he goes, oh. are you serious? He goes, only thing that could do that would be... Hold on, wait. Come with me, you two. We have feast later. Son, prepare the feast. And he goes, All right, Gelder, come on. Tiny go with Grandad. <laughs> like, do, you, do you follow him or do you stay Do you stay here? Do you want to follow him? He's I actually, follow. Okay. Yeah, I follow. Okay. I just want to make sure you do want to do that. I don't want to make you do stuff you don't want to do. <sighs> I'm gonna need to charge my hand in a second, they'll all run out. So you come in and he goes, hmm, hold on a minute. I think I might know what you're talking about. And he's scruffling through his stuff. And this is a really old orc. You've never seen an orc actually at this age. You've never seen an orc with big white beard either. You've never seen them get this old. Normally they don't live that long. They only lived up to 40 before they die. But this one seems to be quite old. And he's gonna be rumbling around through books. 
And he's pulling out loads of books, and Tiny's like, Grandpa, acknowledge money. He has lots of books. <laughs> he carry many books. He's smart. <laughs> he goes, Oh, Grandpa, I have loot from dungeon. I have money. And he goes, Oh, you keep it, Tiny. You earned it. It's your money. And he goes, I can keep it? He goes, Yes, you can keep it, grandson. <laughs> he keeps on the room for so he goes, I can keep it. <laughs> I got a lot of silver. <laughs> and he ruffles through and he pulls out a he pulls out a, a scroll and he goes, Yes, these are from our ancestors. And he puts it on the table and he says, Come, come, you two, look, look. And he opens up a scroll and he goes, Sun gem, Mother Rose. They were on the tallest mountain in these lands long ago but apparently it is said that this king was the one who did something we don't know what he did but something <sighs> happened to the mother rose and the sun gem and then these lands were cast with endless snow and snow and the sun has never been seen since though it is said that the sun gem was fractured and hidden before the king got a hold of them it says this here if the, if the sun gem was to be brought to the Mother Rose, moon and night would become one, and a balance would be restored, it says here in the ancient text. Though this is over 2,000 years old. It's actually a prophecy, but all of it's come true so far. And you can see a pattern, the outline of, a, of, a, of the, it looks like the Queen's Kingdom rising up in her glory. And then you see a young, a young man, and it, like, it looks like he's like sneaking up a mountain and getting like his hands around the, the Mother Rose, and then the sun fractured, and then, the, and then you see the snow, but then you see, you see a small person putting up the sun somewhere next to the rose, and then the sun comes out from the clouds. He goes, this is old prophecy. And prophecies are not always correct, but this is all I can think of. What do you think? He says. He says to you. I said, "Well, I met a, we met a being in there that told us that he came from the ancient civilization when uh, what the fragment fell to earth." My goodness, you spoke to an ancient. My goodness, this is crazy. What did he look like? He says, I explained to him what he looked like. He goes, wow. Amazing. And he goes, was he a ghost? Then he turned to sparkly dust. He might have been a ghost. <laughs> he says, he rubbed his, I don't know if he was alive or a ghost. Did he give you a fragment? Do you have a fragment then from the sun? I'm assuming you did if I you were. I do. In My goodness, you actually have a sun fragment. And he goes, could I see it? Can I trust this guy? What well, What do you know of them so far? They hate the king. Think of your character. Yeah. You think as the character. Well, he's the oldest orc I've ever seen. I don't know. He's the oldest orc here. He's a, he's a leader and elder of this village. This village would have died without his help. So, take it as you wish. Tiny trusts him, but okay. It's up I... to Pull out the sun fragment and hold it out. And he goes, he kind of starts rubbing his beard and he goes, hold on. And he kind of takes it off and puts it in the middle of the table and starts going down and pulling out equipment. He gets a little, like a little, little glass. And he goes, what the big glass for? And he goes, it's a magnifying glass, tiny. He says, magnifying? What <laughs> that? <laughs> he goes, make tiny things big. Tiny things big? It make tiny big. No, no, no tiny. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, wow, this is actually the sun fragment. That's incredible. Well, this is the real thing. He puts his he puts his micro, he puts his little thing away and he hands it back over to you and says, Look after it. If this falls in the king's hand, well, bad things are gonna start happening. I believe the king already has a fragment, but he does not need any more and he hands it back over to you. I I hand it back to him. What are you doing? <laughs> I say Keep it safe for me while I find the others. I know place my father used to go. Only I know of its location. I could hide it there. I would not tell a soul where it is. Do that. Very well. Do it tonight. Tonight. I shall hide it. Very well. And he like, gets out a quilt and he wraps it around a quilt. And you see him casting a chapman and he goes, Enoch, oh no. And it glows. 
do you ask anything? Do you, what do you? What does your character add to it? You've not seen much yeah, of this. I say, I say, yeah, I say. What are you? What are you doing? It is concealing magic, and he goes concealing magic. What's that? <laughs> he goes. It makes magical things not detectable if you're wanting to hide them. And he goes hide magic like cover eyes. <laughs> he goes. He goes tiny with. With magic, you make it blind. Magic. <laughs> <laughs> and he wraps up and he says, right. And he says, tonight I will go out and I shall hide it. <laughs> he seems to put it in a bag and put it on a backpack. <laughs> <laughs> I can't grab anything. He go, help! I stuck in sky! What's going on? I can't... We no grab thing. Me, 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 me to plug in controllers. <clears throat> the sun beast. Then the head priest comes out of nowhere and says, "Thanks for that." <laughs> <laughs> So, you've done well this time. You're very well, you're doing very well, Asta. Wow, he goes, Can I'm glad. this character? You're not holding anyone. No? Oh shit, this is probably one that fucked up for me. So he, he goes, I'm glad you didn't take it to the... Because the rewards for these are insane. It's a platinum for each one of them. An insane amount of money, I know. But, don't worry, it's not worth the, worth the more money, I'll try to show it. Well, I'm gonna tell you something. Oh, take, can I get it back off you? Because <laughs> I want that plan. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what was he gonna say? Him, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell him my plan. He goes, go ahead, tell me. I'm if you wish. I'm going to join the military. Oh, Tony Gorado, are you sure? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna climb the ranks, get find out all the secrets of the <clears throat> king, and then. Take back what is this land and destroy the king. <sighs> he goes, it's a smart plan, but really dangerous. The king is not an easy foe to fall. He has his, his watchers, the head priests, and he has his dragon riders. <laughs> and he's pretty tight with his military. If you do do that, you'll have to do some real bad thing to even be trusted in that kind of stuff. But I guess it's bad means to a good ends. He goes, well, if you do, be careful, really careful. They are quite smart people, not easily fooled, especially the head priests. They are never to be trusted, the head priests. They're too old for their likes, and their darkest cause. They're as cold as the ice they produce. That's why they make white ice. They're so soulless, the ice is even black, he says. <sighs> so, he says, you guys ready for the feast? <laughs> We celebrate Tiny's yes. victory. You guys go, yay! And you go out and you see, you see, you see, you see Tiny's dad cooking. He goes, oh no, dad cooking. This is bad. Don't eat it. <laughs> Just pretend to eat it. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> they go, Papa, are you cooking? And he goes, yes, Tiny. I'm so proud of you that I... I want to try cooking. You seem to be really good at it, but I'm pretty sure it's easy. All the others kind of look at each other. And he goes, I could do it. And he's like this massive pot. <laughs> it looks like iron. He's just, well, that's just forged together. And he's just pouring in loads of stuff. And he says, whole pig. And he just drops an entire pig into it. Uh, I think mushrooms, apples, and barbecue. Barbecue uh, vein bits. And, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> he makes it up and he goes, It's ready! <laughs> you see, like, this black goo. <laughs> and he goes, I want to eat up! And, he, and I want to, like, look at it, but everyone's too scared of him to say no, so they all take the plates, and he hands you a plate. He goes, Go on, eat up! <laughs> he gives you a plate of I black goo. <laughs> Thank you! And he goes, Alright, everyone, eat up! And he's just looking at everyone. <laughs> and everyone's like, The one that goes, mm, Very good, I don't so delicious! I say, is that a bandit? Raw. He <laughs> <laughs> go, don't be silly, go on, eat up! 
You like my food. My son gets his cooking abilities from me. <laughs> Nico, I don't. I get it from Mama. <laughs> I put my finger in it and I taste it. It is foul. It is the disgustingest thing you've, you've ever eaten. It om You almost vomit. <laughs> like, you feel vomit coming. It goes in, it almost comes back up. That's how bad it is. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, good, right? Good. I say, <laughs> I say, yeah, it's really good, but in my customs, we don't eat after killing a great lizard. He goes, far enough. Well, I I must attend to the forge. All of you enjoy your food. And Tiny, I'm very proud. And he goes in his... He goes in his tent. Everyone just pours away the liquid. Tiny just looks at it sadly and just goes, "Very bad." <laughs> <laughs> so everyone's like, everyone's like, talk you see that everyone's like talking to Tiny. Everyone's asking Tiny adventure, and Tiny looks really sad, and he's like, "Well, we did this, and then this happened, and then Ice Woman was like talking loads." <laughs> <laughs> He's, you're kind of sitting there, and Tiny's like, Tiny's like, point at you, and then everyone's like, nodding and stuff, and he's just really enjoying himself at the moment with his, with his, uh, Good. with his clan. He looks very, he looks very, very happy. He looks like he's in the best mood he could I'm be. I'm gonna go to the chief. And you go, okay, so you're gonna back off, and you see everyone, an orc just takes your place to ask Tiny and stuff. You go into the forge, you see Tiny's dad with, uh, with like what looks like a glove with a hammer at the end of it. And it has like what looks like runes on it, and he's like slamming down a bit of metal. And he's like forging it into something, and he's just punching it, but it's like bending the metal. He's like, poof, poof. I say, chief. And he goes, ah, small man that I don't know I the name of. To discuss with you. And he goes, is it of importance and delicate? Very important. He says, come with me, then we do yes. not talk here. And he slips past, and he says, follow me. You go in. He says, do you wish for my grandfather to leave? He says, I am the elder. I could give advice, but if you wish for me to leave, I can leave. I say, no, you both probably need to be here for this. Well, he says, we might as well sit down. <laughs> so the chief kind of just goes, <laughs> and the whole thing shakes, all tent shakes. <laughs> and you kind of sit down on this huge bag that's way bigger for you it feels like a be it feels like a it's like to the player it feels like a beanbag but to your character it feels like a big hay bale okay and then he sits down on it and he goes he goes he goes all right <clears throat> we must do our customers you see the elder start pouring out tea and the king the, the, the fucking chief picks up his like his tiny cup and he pours you some and he says we must drink tea to, before we speak of uh, important matters it is orc ritual <laughs> and they drink they drink they drink their tea you drink it and it's a, it is it is really like a herb and substance you never had. It's really like the moment you drink it, you feel your you feel your, like your Zen and chakra are really calm. And you feel very, very calmed in a calm state. And it feels very, very relaxing and calming. It goes, Now our minds clear of emotions too strong, we speak. What do you wish to talk about? I say I've overheard when we exited the dungeon that the there was a what was it an armada armada yeah it was an armada a legion like, like a, a hoge legion. a big force there's a legion there's a big force and the ice mages were talking about um destroying this village <sighs> so the other the other kind of sits back and goes oh, no the the dat, the dat, the dat, you know, you see the chief's face, that's frowning, he goes, fucking, and he like, slams down his fist, and you hear the table shake, and he's like, mm. he's like, cursed it, ice mages. Said, but there is, there is one solution. And he turns to you, and the elder goes, but you have to trust me. Well, you have earned our respect, you have proven yourself as a warrior, and you now are valid speaking in the orc's tent. Speak your, speak your peace, and we shall... They will spare you if you give up the last bit of your women. So the moment you well, say that, you see that face is kind of frowning over. Back. The chief goes, they took my wife, and I haven't seen her since. They took Tiny's mother, and you want me if to give... If it's possible, I will get them all back. All the women of this continent back. And Tiny, and, uh, Tiny's dad kind of looks at the, uh, the elder, and the elder looks at him, and he goes... 
We're kind of locked in here. If they know where we are, then they have our position scouted. If we try and move it out of force, they're going to catch us. I don't think there is any way out of this, son. And he goes, we fight. And he says, we fight, we die. And he goes... Mm. So Tony, Tony's dad is really like... He's really like... We only have two girls left in village. And they are young. Very tiny's age. <sighs> So he's kind of he's kind of sitting there like that, and the other goes, "I agree with Alistair's I, choice. I believe it is the only right decision. I don't want to, and I would fight if there was a choice. But we've seen the power say, of him, son. I say, hmm. yeah, I say, I know that we just met. I know that you barely know me. My name is Alistair Bell. I will tell you everything about me. Hmm. I am a prince from a foreign land." Mm. So the elder kind of whips his chin goes, continue. I came here out of spite to my father. We had an argument, and I left. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but, now that I've seen the state of this place, I must help correct it. I'm going to join the military, or the mercenaries guild, one or the other. And I'm going to try and climb, climb my way through the ranks, get into the inner circle, gain power, and take out the king, and find out in the process where all the women of this continent are, and what's happened to them. If it's possible to bring them back, I will. So the, so the outer, so I want you to roll for your speech. So your speech, this is your entire speech, I want you to roll for the speech to see how impactful it is to them. <sighs> This is we'll take quick because you're trying to convince them. Okay, so you speech all together, plus the fact that you saved Tiny's life, plus the fact that you've helped the village, and past you've, you know, you've been nothing but good to the village, that will give you bonuses as well. So, Tiny go, so Tiny's dad goes, You saved my son twice. You have done nothing but good for us. I believe it is... Tiny's father goes, I believe it is unfair to take the choice from the women. I believe they have the right to choose. I want them to have a choice. It is unfair for us to choose for them. The elder goes, that is a fair point. I agree. He says, father, go get the, go get the girls. So the elder, the older. The older man goes off, and the, the, his dad, the, the whole attitude, his dad, you've never seen Tiny Dad in this kind of serious mode, he's going to kind of, what, somewhat jolly, but he's like, he's got a dead straight face, he's, you know, you're feeling like his old, if it weren't for that tea, he'd probably be flipping shit <laughs> right now, because he's, he's got a whole different aura about him. <laughs> While we're waiting, I say, hey, this tea is very good for my zen and chi. He goes, it is what we take it before, it is what we orcs take for discussion, since we sometimes lead to anger quite easily it keeps us calm and keep our minds focused so we do not lose our temper it helps for strategy and fighting he says no wonder why you guys have survived so long well we were you guys are really fucking smart we were the original my ancestors were the original inhabitants of this land um we came after the ancients um we were here for quite a long time but then um the queen came and on we had a war a war resulted in most of our people being killed, but we established peace with the Queen, and we had a fair deal. We were given a huge portion of land, and the freedom of right to do what we wish and to live peacefully. Then, when the King took over, his demands and his heir, uh, everything he asked was out of, out of line for what we wanted. We declared war, but the King's power overwhelmed us. Not only that, but the snow and ice killed our crops. And the king was the only one producing the resources that could survive the harsh winters. We couldn't stand a sense to keep our numbers. So, this is all you see left of our great kingdom. I am an ancestor of our great leaders. I am the... F me, Tiny, is the final descendant of my entire generation of leaders. I am... When I die, it will only be Tiny, he says. Tiny's the last. I say, Chief, would you like to become king? King of these lands? He leans back and he goes, oh, I'm a bit of a brute. <laughs> but I just want rights for people. 
I don't know. Hmm. I don't know what the people of these lands would want for a king. Would they want me as a king? I believe we were at great peace. If you just and rule with a kind but gentle fist, I'm sure they will love you. Perhaps. We do need someone to replace the king. If he dies, chaos will ensue unless order is restored. We need to make sure the people say, aren't destroyed by the process. He says. I go, I am a prince. I am still a prince even though I'm not in my kingdom. I cannot take on another kingdom. I think you should take on this one if I'm able to complete my task. And he goes, we shall see. We shall see. So, after a bit of talking, so you see, so you've never really seen the side of him. You see, he's quite, he's quite chilled, he's quite tactical, he's quite thinking, you know, he's kind of taking a step back, and you see he's got a bit of a different personality from him. You see that he has a strong, you feel a strong leadership. You feel powerful leadership coming from him. You see why he's the chief. He seems like a competent, smart leader, you know. You kind of, you do kind of see that part of, like, you know your dad's being a bit of a twat. You do see the kind of leadership within him as you saw in your father just without the arrogance so he comes in and the two the two girls come in and they they kind of sit they kind of sit down and he gives them some tea and they drink the tea and they go they go yeah <laughs> <laughs> and they both go oh what do you need <laughs> 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 you see that not much difference but apart from something covering their their breasts but they look the exact same <laughs> <laughs> I, do i start the conversation or i let the chief or the head i kind of look at them everyone's looking at you everyone's looking at you in the room <laughs> i say i go the village has been found do you see their faces kind of drop and go, oh, God. <laughs> Everyone in the village will be slaughtered. But there is a way to stop this. I know where this is going. We have to give ourselves up, right? Like the chief's wife had to for the last time, right? Yes. She says. But if there is a way, I will find it to get you all back the all the women of this village all the women of the next and the one beyond that the chief goes oh, this decision is yours if you choose to not go we will stand and fight until the last and we will fight with you the chief the elder goes agreed this decision is yours and yours alone we will not take this choice from you so they both look at each other and this one goes well this is my home my people i would not want to be the ants you know, if one life means the rest, then I guess I'm willing to make that price. She goes, well, if you don't get the women back, there'll be, this village will eventually die out due to no more children being born. He does, the elder does go, it is true. But young Alistair here has to say a key to our solution. And I, as the elder of this village, trust him. The chief goes, I myself do trust him. I see leadership within him. And two guys kind of look at each other and they go, you know, all right, sure. <laughs> I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> but before we go, can we at least say goodbye to everyone? Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to die. So I'm going to say goodbye to everyone. Yeah, so I don't know what the fuck's going to happen, but I want to say goodbye to the people I care of. And the chief says, yes, we will hold a goodbye party for you guys. And they go, all right. A bit grim, but all right. <laughs> kind of just like, you know, eh. And they kind of leave. <laughs> and goes, very well. So exactly what do we do? Where did the girls go? Do we... I don't know where they go yet, but I will find out. Chief goes, the chief goes, remember you will be, at some point you're going to end up in deep in enemy territory. You must be careful. They are cunning and smart. And they outsmarted the, uh, the previous queen, not by power, by intelligence. Be warned for that. You're working against a great number of foes. 
and they will do anything. Any information that you can give to me on them that would be would be gratefully accepted. The other goes, all we know is that whatever whatever the king has, he has a massive amount of power that came out of nowhere. We believe he has a hold of a great powerful item that he's using to fuel his ice magic. Due to him being an ice mage, that's why he's done all of this. All of this is his magic. No being should have the power apart from a god to spread this level of magic. And the chief goes, so we think he has something equal. We think he might have the mother rose. And the elder goes, it's a fairy, but he... He's wanting the female of the villages for a reason. There were none allowed in the, the capital. The ancient, the ancient one told me that he does have the Mother Rose. He does have the Mother Rose. My God. And the elder's like, oh. well, that's how he's doing it then. But what is he wanting the women for? And they're both kind of rubbing their cheeks, trying to figure it out. And they're kind of like, all we can read, we don't know much of the inside of the city due to... A, you know, we haven't gone in there. We only know outside sources. I can give you strategy funds for war, but apart from that, the chief says, I really can't help with inside information. We have no scouts, no spies. We did have a capital, but it's collapsed. We lost everything when they uh, raided us. We're literally the remnant of what we were. But I you, say we'll g you have our full support. Gain uh, what I want you to do while well, I am climbing the ranks of the military and gaining more power and becoming more powerful, I want you to gather in secret um, the rebel forces, build an army. And I look at the chief and I say, take your throne. <sighs> We cannot build an army when everyone fears. We need people, vengeful people. But you know what we could do? We can do this. You. We will remain here, and we will accept the king's permission, permissions. But at the moment, our situation, we've kind of got a foot on top of us. If you find any other rebel groups, if you can establish a line of communication with us to them, for us, I can rally them. But we need okay. an essential force, and we need whatever is powering the king to stop. Because we could go in there with an army of 10 million, the elder says, and he would kill them all in a heartbeat. Whatever he's using, if it is the Mother Rose, whatever, it needs to stop before we can get in there. This winter needs to stop before we can raid the king. This powers him. Where he's got this, he's invincible, if you understand what we mean. We can take out his armies... We can't take him out. Is the scroll is the scroll of the sun mm. shards still on the table? Yeah, he goes, Yes, it's right here. I point I point to it no, I'm asking you as a DM. And uh, my hand comes yeah, from heaven this. a big hand comes from heaven and points at it <laughs> <laughs> and goes, It's her <laughs> I, I point to it and I say this will be the undoing of him. And the chief goes, oh, that would hurt. <laughs> you can do that, get there alive, though. <laughs> you'll, need, you'll need to get strong, very strong, and get people on your side. But? I'll try my best. We might have a chance. He goes, couldn't you assemble your own home kingdom? Your own people? Or is that not off the table since you ran away? I don't know much of your people, the elder says, and this one goes, no, I do not either. You are the first we've ever seen of your kind. Would your people fight for another kingdom? In this situation, they would. <sighs> I will write my father once I get a chance. Well, you have our complete, you have our support. He says, yep, <laughs> he slaps you on the back, <laughs> <laughs> and I go, fine. And I go, boom, you're banging it to the table. And he goes, it's all on you, Prince Boy. <laughs> and he goes, listen, there's something important. Can you, can you take Tiny with you? But he's your only son. I know he is. That's why I don't want him here. 
I want him away from this place. My son. I'll take Tiny with me, man. My son's the last. That's your wish. It's the last thing I have since my since my wife was taken. Tiny will one day become a, a ruler. I need him. You are a prince. So, uh, you know, you're like a bigger, the, the, that kind of goes, he's kind of like a bigger clan, right? And he goes, oh, kind of, they're kind of the same thing. <laughs> he goes, he's just a big clan, just more land. So, show him what it is to be a prince. I haven't had any time due to all the war and the, I've had no time to bond with my son and I won't be able to do it when the, you know, when they take over this place. So, if you could take him with you or take him away from this, maybe he would learn a lot more from you than he would from me. I'm a bit hard on him, but only because I love him. It's up to you if you want to, but I'm sure he has a lot of fun with you. And you guys did kill a great lizard, which is pretty fucking impressive. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tiny's got a lot of potential in him. He has our blood, and both the both the guys hit their chest. <laughs> I hit my chest and say, he. I hit my chest and go, he's a strong boy, you mm. raised them well. And they kind of nod at you and go, well, very well. We'll hold a celebration, and then if you can find out where the girls will go safely, obviously, then we shall hand them over. I'm assuming they'll send someone, but just get a hold of either one of us and tell us what's happening before it happens. I will. Alright, let's go prepare, and he gets up and he just kind of boom, 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 he goes out. And he goes and says, yep, I'm going to go prepare myself. He goes up to the shelf and he seems to start gathering stuff. What do you want to do? I want to go out, and I want to, um, I'm going to try something. I'm going to pick, I'm going to take a piece of charcoal from the, uh, um, In the bonfire pit, yeah? From the bonfire pit, like, one that's not on fire or anything, you know? And you grab a bit of charcoal, and it burns, my tent. it burns through your hand. <laughs> you grab it. You see on it a tiny, but you see the tiny blue embers within it, but it's not too hot, so you take it into your tent. What do you want to do? I I want to dip it in a little bit of water. Okay, you dip it in water. It. it cools down. And I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna write on the uh, recommendation letter. Okay. They've agreed. Okay. Roll to do that. So you write, they've agreed, and you close it, and you you put it you put it down on the floor, and you see the water on it start freezing. You see like like ice start cracking away from it. And you see what's in the shape of a snowflake, and you see, and that, poof, you see like loads of pretty snow go. You see like loads of like little tornado of snow snow go around. A little bit of snow goes in your face, and as you wipe it away, you see. <laughs> One of the high priests appear in front of you. The head, the head, because he's he's the head. By the way, each priest has a different name. He is the head. The, so the guy that I that I. No, need you to know see. you the head. The, you only know one of them, and it's the head. And the head appears. Okay. And he goes, "Greeting, Alistair. I got your message. Uh, I have persuaded them to give up the girls. Very, um, very good." Can they have one night, and tomorrow morning, or tomorrow afternoon, to say their goodbyes? They can have tonight, but by the morning, they are bring, you will bring them outside of the village, and I will have them brought, brought to the main capital. That is all I'm willing to allow, he says. I say... As you please. Uh, good, good you got them to agree, because we're about to kill them all. <laughs> I'll call off the dragon riders. <laughs> they weren't that far away. And he goes, alright then. Oh, they were, they were <laughs> He says, we're about to kill oh, everyone. He, he kind of giggles and says, we were going to kill all of them. <laughs> but hey, <laughs> that's good. The king will be pleased. Um, the remaining, we will send in troops the next day as well into the village, obviously, now that they will be obviously working with us now, so there shouldn't be any problems with that and i am curious alistair they seem to have near them a temple of sorts and i believe that some of them may have something that i that our king needs do you know anything about a specific item a shard that glows with the power of a sun he says to you 
We don't know too much I about say, it, but we have believed they might have it, but not 100% sure. So 50, 50. I say I, they have ancient texts about it. Well, no harm in checking. We shall check tomorrow morning when we send in the troops. Inform them that is going to happen, so they're not taken off by surprise. All right? I will. Once the gal, once we receive the gals, you receive your payment, and then you can make your way to the city and do what you wish. Thank you. All right, good work, Alistair. You're doing well. You're doing well. And he kind of, he kind of, he kind of clouds his hands and says, "Before I go, Alistair, remember that you want to be on our side and not their side." All right. I have had some people that have had a change of heart, and their hearts were, let's say, shattered, he says, and he kind of giggles to himself. <laughs> and, then the, and then he claps his hand, and the snow goes around him, and it looks really pretty. Like, oh, and then he disappears. <laughs> and the, the envelope, is the, the recommendation is, is there on the floor. I pick it up and put it back in my bag. Okay, so what do you want to do? You hear people outside kind of go. like, around the fire and stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the bum, bum. elder. Bum, 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 bum. So you see, as you come out, you see loads of people dancing around. You see them all dancing around the fire. You can see the two girls have flowers around their neck. And they're kind of like jumping up and down. They're all like swinging their swords. You see they're all drinking. <laughs> they're all like getting drunk. You see Tiny there. You see Tiny like, yeah. and he's like, oh. <laughs> he's like, watch me drink this. <laughs> and they all seem to be having a merry time. You go through, and you can see the elder. And the other has like got on the table and he's got full of books and he has notes down. He's like looking through stuff. And he goes, Oh, yes, come on in, Alistair. What do you need? And he's writing stuff down. I walk in, I, I, I ask him, What are you doing? He says, I'm noting I'm making records. Due to us being really the last of our people, I want our history noted down. You know? I, this, every book you see, come over here, Alistair. These shelf, this shelf is our entire history. The last bit of it that I saved from our archives before they destroyed it. This is all that's left of our people. If this is lost, our people are forgotten. If you understand what I mean, Alistair. It is my duty as the elder to guard this with my life. This is the final bit of our people's history. And it is so important that we never forget it. And right now I'm noting down what happened. As it is now a piece of history. And he notes it up and scrolls it up and does a little button on it. And gets a wax, places it in, he places the, what looks like an orc, an orc like orc kind of royal seal. And he goes, We did have a capital, you know, we weren't all tents, you know, we were actually pretty civilized. You won't believe it, we had a, we had a castle. <laughs> and he kind of giggles to himself. <laughs> I believe they turned it into a fort now, um, and it's under the king's control. I believe I'm probably pretty sure they removed all the orc structure. Though I wonder if there's any of the orc tunnels deep under the city still of our. Of our catacombs, but hmm, as I know everything about that city, he says as he puts the scroll away. I I ask him if he has any orc uh, or like music from like yes, of way course. Back in the day, he goes, "Yes, I do." And he kind of goes for his scrolls and he pulls out a scroll and he goes, "Yes, I hold my hold on people's music, our different songs, the song of the song of war, the song of." The song of peace, the song of victory, the song of passing, the song of love. Got a couple good couple songs. Why? He asks. I say, can I have copies of them? He says, I can make a copy for you right now, if you'd like. You need to give me like maybe an hour to do it all for you. But I can do it. Write you down. Say, yeah, that would be great. I'll copy all our old. I'll copy about five of our old ones for you, if that sounds alright for you. Sounds good. So he gets his quill and he gets a piece of paper and he starts he starts copying it. He says, "Anything else you need to talk to me about, Alistair?" I say, "Do you mind if I look over your shoulder at the sheet and um, try and get the song of love?" No, yeah, go right uh, ahead. Down. So you come over and you realize he's a lot taller than you, <laughs> so you're gonna have to look for his side, not for his shoulder. <laughs> he's way bigger than you. I pull out my magic flute. Okay. But I play it quietly. I play it quietly and I try and learn the song of love. So you've never used this before, so you have negative two because you've never touched a magic flute before, okay? To start off with. But you're going to develop not a... a not a magic flute, uh, but I do know how to read music. You do know how to read music? Yeah. 
Not for the music. The reading is fine. You're just rolling to play the magic for you. Oh. This is rolling the play oh, okay. for you. Roll your orange, because this is magic. This doesn't take your mana. This takes the... So, four. Roll the mana. So, you're like... Uh, 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 you see, like, a, a rough stick man trying to dance on the table, but it kind of just collapses. <laughs> and he goes... He goes, good shot, bit more practice, but you'll get there in the end. <laughs> he says, he says, that a magic flute. You, you know, my, uh, my, uh, my granddaughter loved, uh, magic flutes, actually. It's kind of a whole thing. It's how she hooked up with my son over there, grandson over there. I say, yeah, it is a magic flute, actually. I'd like to try and learn the song of love before tomorrow morning. He goes, well, he says, good luck to you. He goes, hold on, the DM needs a drink, so wait a second. And the whole world goes dark <laughs> as the DM leaves. I actually need a drink, too. Yeah. Shit. It's too late now. What's wrong, baby? What's wrong?
Alistar? Yep. I was thinking, DM the player, can I use Zen Charm to... Uh, Charm what? While I'm playing the flute? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Will that help me in any way to learn faster? Zen Charm? Well, you're not Charm. Charming doesn't equal to le learning, does it? Is your char charming is charming someone, not really learning something. Learning would be increased by book reading or more time of fruit because it's a shadow skill at the moment, the flute for you. So I will give you the flute when you've okay. unlocked it. Okay, can I just make a bunch of rolls as an hour passes? Just want to skip all... You just want to skip all my, all my stuff. You just want to bypass all my systems, do you? Well, guess what? It ain't like that. I'm just <laughs> oh, God's sake. What did I just... Why is it on this screen? Not... Get off that screen. And you fucking full screen, bitch. Okay, right. You have... Well, the XP is every time you try. So, how do you spell flute? Uh, F L U T E, I think. Who calls you all the time? We well, always. Good morning. That's my medication alarm. Uh, oh. Wednesday first. <laughs> Because there's a shadow spell, so every time you try, you'll gain XP towards it. Okay. So, you can try, so go right ahead. You'll just have to keep on trying. 13. 13, so you begin to play, roll the ma uh, orange, because it's a magical item. Right. And it's a rare, so it will give you a plus. A rare gives oh, the... Yeah, a rare uh, has a plus three to casting so that would be that no that would be that so that's a 13 so you play the flute again you know, and you play it and somewhat of a somewhat of a mist appears and you see and you see somewhat of an image of an orc dancing but it's like fading and flashy and you hold it for a moment, but it fades, and he goes, well, that was, that was good, well done. You did better that time. <laughs> you get a bit more XP. I'm gonna roll more. There will be a point where you won't be able to just, like, because I can't just have you sitting there grinding something forever, so there'll be a point where you won't be able to get any more XP right. until you do something else. I'll That's say... I just said for an hour. All right, so... Copies that stuff down. All right. So nineteen six plus three to casting, so you play it again. And you see a bit more of a clear image and you can sort of see a small orc kinda kinda bit fashy but almost all there dancing around on his table and he so kinda goes, Oh look at that, look at it go and then it kinda tends to smoke and he goes, Oh that was pretty good. So you won't be able to hold you won't be able to hold a song because you you're learning. You'll need to be somewhat of a rank. So you'll need to be at least level one to even do a full song. You're only going to, be able to do images at the moment until you start piecing together stuff. So you gain a bit more XP. And then you still what do you, what would you like to do? About twenty I'll minutes have passed. Okay. One more roll? Twenty minutes. Only twenty minutes have passed? Only twenty minutes. And you see like um you see an orc kissing kinda an image of an orc kissing another orc, but then it fades away. And he goes, You're doing alright, and you unlock rank rank zero, the flute and skills. Okay. <clears throat> I 
don't know why he's apologizing so much. Who? My cousin. Why? What did he do? He left his he's left his computer chair here saying he was gonna play uh Hmm. Saying that he was gonna play um Final Fantasy with me, but he never did. Never came back. No. Fucking probably why he's apologizing. I'm gonna have his head for that. A little head on a platter. Okay, I have 10 XP to go until I can get rank 1. You can probably reach to rank 1, but then no more for the day. That's uh, fine. So now, plus 3 to casting, so 4... four for magical pace, so playing out. You're like, Ogana, 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 and uh, you. Now it's a bit more. You see it. You see an orc, and it's dancing with like a, what seems like a red flower ar around their neck, and they're spinning around. And there's a fire in the middle. You see a bunch of other orcs, and the image appears on the table in front of him. And he's like, ooh, and you can see them all dancing and clapping, and they're like a tiny little version of them. And it goes on for a little bit, but then fades. And you gain a bit of XP for that. You gain about five. You gain about four XP. Four. Okay. About forty minutes have passed. She's like, doo, 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 doo. no, you won't have any negatives because you've got it unlocked. It. It's a skill, and you see somewhat of a a stick, like kind of like a stick person, kind of glitching around and dancing, but kind of fails. And disappears, and he goes, Oh, well, that's all right. <laughs> all right, a bit more practice. You get about two XP for that. Okay, so four by six. So, you are. Uh, to play more, you're like, orc evil, orc evil, orc evil, evil, and you see two orcs holding hands and they're like swaying like this next to the fire, like this, and then it fades. And you unlock rank one, rank one and flute. And he goes, You want to give it a break? You'll exhaust the magic in that thing. You keep on using it so much, son. You got to use it for a full song and not at all. You'll exhaust all the magic in it. Got to give it cooldowns. He says, he goes, your sheet's done, by the way. I say, thank you. And I take the song sheets. Mm -hmm. You get an ancient orc I song sheets. I regular flute. I say, do you have any regular flutes around here? i got a wooden one here. And he kind of grabs it. I say... How much for it? You have it for free, son. He just gives you it. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, you get a common wooden flute. So I made it a while back. It's alright. This imagine one's cooler, to be honest. <laughs> <Here you go. laughs> want to get the guys or ladies, he says. You want to be able to play the magic one. Trust me. <laughs> Do I get a plus anything to rank, rank one uh, and flute? Yeah, plus one to when you roll. Plus one? Okay. You somewhat understand flutes now. Okay. He goes, oh, mm. why are you doing that? <clears throat> he says, I can give you a, I can give you something. Now... He reaches in, and I want you to roll, and this will determine what kind of, what he gives you. Seven. So he gives you, he gives you, um... And he goes, this is quite rare. He's like, this is very rare. And he pulls out a, st uh, and a stone, and he goes, this is a stone of swordsmanship. No, this is a very rare stone, alright? I've had it in the family for a while, but since you're going out there to fight a king, 
I thought you should have it as a gift for keeping my son, grandson safe. And he gives you it. I look at him like, thank you so much. It can unlock rank three swordsmanship. They are as rare as they come. You will not see many levels, uh, many, many stones like that around. But that's for saving my grandson, by the way, he says. And since you've done so much for the village, I think it's more than fair. He says, I'm no more to give but a stark fax, he says, <laughs> of the Orc, Orcan people. As long as one Orc lives, our people, uh, one of, as long as one of our Orcs live, our people still live, he says. I try and teach all the young ones out there our songs and stuff. No, not many of them reach to my age. You see, when I was young, I never wanted to fight. I was far into scholarship and knowledge, surprisingly, I know, but I never fought in my entire life. I focused on studying and understanding things, and I became an elder of the village because of it. At a very young age, I was the smartest orc in the entire clan. And then when the, we moved to the capital, um, where, the main orc city, where the main orc city was, I was invited to join the main head elder, elder council of the orc, our orcan people. And I was second to second to the top orcs in the outer council and we were the wisest orcs you will ever see son <laughs> and i mean some of the orcs in there were smarter than entire 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 cities of any of our races combined i mean they were beautiful geniuses they they had so much potential but such little time and it's such a shame that they were all killed so much of that knowledge and understanding was lost due to that king. He has no idea how much he has destroyed. It's so baseless that someone would just destroy an entire culture out of spite, but not to think what he takes in his hands. The dwarves have great technology only because they have the resources to do so. If we had the resources, we could have built machines that I bet you could have outbeated them. We understood steam power. We understood so many things, and... All of it was lost in our archives. I wish I could get into the rubble of that place. I bet you there's some scrolls that lived. And he kind of hits the table, like frustratingly as he's rubbing his chin. He has so much knowledge and philosophy lost. He says. I'm sorry, where is it? In our main capital, the city, which belongs to the king. I believe it is the warrior capital now. The soldier capital of the king. Uh, the ruins of our, te our, our archive, because we were the or all the old council had a main, the main building, and then below that was our archive. The problem is the archive was attacked by the forces. A lot of it was destroyed. Thousands, maybe even millions of years of knowledge was lost, but I saved a small fraction. This is but a percent of the libraries were in there. I'm telling you, son, there were libraries of libraries of libraries. And I believe... Bet you some of it lived, but <laughs> I can't go in a big capital full to the brim of guards, can I now? <laughs> the guy chuckles, he goes, but I'd damn well try, you know, <laughs> if I didn't have to look after everyone here. <laughs> Just to get one of those books. He says, if you ever somehow get down there by some miracle, son, that stuff is powerful stuff down there. The amount of knowledge, uh, my master, the leader of us, oh, his mind was beyond imagination. Smartest man, I believe, maybe in the world. Lost to that. He was, he was quite young himself, but he goes, I'm going to ramble all day, so I'm quite old. <laughs> if you want to go, you can go outside and celebrate. <laughs> I say, I say, I'm going to just ramble and ramble. Go outside and celebrate, uh, but also I want you to know that tomorrow morning they might be here. They might not. Okay. So I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving the thing tonight before they come. I doubt they're probably expecting we've got it, so I'm going to move it tonight. Now here's the thing, I need to get out of here, but this place is being watched, and I'm not sure how to do it. How am I going to get out of here tonight without being seen, he says. Because I know they'll be watching this place. That's right. There's got to be a way out of this cave. So what they're in, so what they're in, so let, let me explain the surroundings they're in. They have an entrance of a cave here, and they are in somewhat of a cave, like this, that goes around, but the, the, middle, the middle is open to the sky. And that, that is their environment they are in currently. 
So most of the light comes from a, a, from the top in the entrance, he says. He says, we're kind of pincered in here. He says, I don't know how I'm going to get out of there. <sighs> I've looked, but I haven't really found anything on exit sides. I can look again, though, he says. He rubs his chin. I say, is there any way I can help? He says if you could, you can help look, I guess. Um, any way of getting out here apart from the entrance would be ideal. He says, I guess look around the walls of the camp, see if you can find anything that I overlooked. Maybe I missed something. Okay, I'm gonna go, I said I'll go do that then. He goes, alright, come back to me if you find anything, so I need to get, out the, get this out here soon before tomorrow. So, you go out and you can see everyone, you see Tiny, and Tiny's talking to one of the guys and he's like, you don't know I fought a great lizard and I'll beat you up. And he goes, and everyone's like, no, Tiny, you stupid. <laughs> he got almost falls over. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, 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 you see the chief, they see the chief's father, he's just down in drinks, but he doesn't even seem drunk. <laughs> he's just kind of laughing, he's kind of laughing and laughing at Tiny. <laughs> I'm glad that Tiny's fitting in now. Yeah, he fitting, yeah, he's really, he's really, he seems really chipper. <laughs> so, what do you want to do? Uh, I'm, I want to go around the camp and see if I can find anything. All right. And so, then I want to come back and play the flute for the for the people because I'm sure have they do they have music playing. They are singing. That's all they're doing. They're just singing. They don't have any musical Same. instruments. Okay. They could only take the bare minimum when they ran away, so they've only got they've got quite little at the moment. Alright, you want me to roll to look? Yeah, you're gonna have each region where you're gonna look, so this is the first region roll. Okay. And at twenty. You see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> You see nothing here. You see nothing here. You see a flat wall, but you do see a tiny bit of water stream. Do you want to follow it? Uh, yeah, I follow it. You see the small water stream. It follows down here, and you see where the orcs are getting their water. You see a little, a little river. It's led you over here, and as you're following this tiny river is going out, you step on something, and you go. Doof! As you step, as you're walking, what you do? As you step on something, what do you want to do? I look down to see what it is. You reach down; it's unclear, but you move a stone, and you see wood. And you can, and it looks like a wooden door under the water. I lift it up. You lift it up, and it looks like what a tunnel of water going down like this. Okay. Doesn't look too deep. It looks about probably to the length of you, of you two, two of you. About the width of uh, okay. half of him, half of uh, Tiny's dad. <laughs> so quite a big hole. I I go in it. Okay. So roll to swim. You roll a one, you drown. <laughs> Die. <laughs> okay, so you start swimming, you go, you're under what looks like a under, you feel the water flow kind of pushing you down, and you go under a tunnel and you see a, a light above you. What do you want to do? I go up to it. So, roll. Roll. You drown. So as you're swimming up, you see something glistering in the water. Uh, I pick it up. You pick it up, you can't, it's covered in muck, so you decide to hold on to it and just take it up to the surface. You come out, you pop out, you pop out of the the river here, bending around this way, and you're now poking out of the river on the other side. You had to just pop it out of the water, you can see a forest going this way. Okay. I'm gonna head back. <laughs> Roll. <laughs> <laughs> 13, you make it all the way back and pop back out. I clean off the whatever the hell I found you in the water. You clean it off and you find a silver pendant, and it is off of a knight from the previous kingdom. One of the queens, it seems like a piece, and so you find an ancient pendant. 
No, you found an old. It's not ancient. An old pendant from previous kingdom. So you found another piece of. You found another piece of the armor of an old kingdom. <sighs> See where I find that? Give it to me. The DM takes it from your hand. You cry and cry, and the DM goes no, and he crashes it in front of. You. <laughs> Then the and the GM drives. <laughs> you're like, no! Right. So what do you want to do? I'm gonna go back to the old man and tell my family. <laughs> he goes. He goes. Ah, oh. now that's not what you need. As he's sitting on a chair and he seems to be reading a book. I say. I say. I found a way out. And he goes. It leads uh, out into the forest, the river on the other side, and out into a forest. He's like, all right, show me. I take him to it. And he goes, oh, amazing. All right, I need to get, all right, I need to get ready for diving. But all right, this is perfect. All right, thank you, Alistair. This will work. And he goes back to the hut and he says, why don't you go have some fun with the, with the, with the clan? Why go get ready to move? Yes, I'm going to go to the clan. You come over, you come over, <laughs> you see most of the, most of the orcs are down. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from the head orc, <laughs> from the chief. One of the girls are down, the other girl's kind of sitting on the ground. Tiny seems to be, Tiny and his dad seem to be the only two really standing. <laughs> that one seems very drunk. Very, very drunk. And Tiny's oh, like... Well, then it won't matter if I play bad. He turns around Tiny goes, Buddy, you're my best friend. He picks you up, <laughs> he lifts you up, and he goes, oh, and he cuddles you a bit hard. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny it is a, I love you. <laughs> You're my best bro. <laughs> and he kind of falls over with you on his, on his lap. <laughs> what do you want to do? I, I stand I, I stand up on yeah. his stomach and yeah. I pull out my magic flute. Okay. So Tiny's dad goes. He goes. His face, his expression goes from the chiffy and he kind of changes a bit. And he goes, oh, You got a magic flute, huh? You play it, he says. I say, I'm going to try and I'm going to try and play the song of your people, Love. He says, I'd love to hear it, son. Go ahead. Well, magic. What am I going to do you? Oh, that 12. <laughs> uh, plus three, so that's the bonus of magic. So a lot of magical power in this one. So you're like, Oki Vori Vagori, and you start playing a song, and you see that the mist appear around, and the other orcs are, Ooh. and you see, and now you can create, so this is because it's your, what you're doing, what would you like to create for them to see? So what would you like to show them? Would you say orcs dancing? How do you want to do it? I want, I want an orc male and an orc female dancing, right? And yeah. like a passionate love, and like and uh, like, like on right here in front of the bonfire, right. and like uh, more orcs, like orcs they're like their loved ones and stuff okay. that they're that they've missed that they're missing to appear, and and start dancing and singing along. Well. I'm not gonna do that because that's straight, and that one is just my universe. I'm <laughs> no, okay, right, go ahead. So you're like, you know, and you see two, you see two orcs that get together, and they start, they start holding hands and kissing passionately. You see all, you see all the other orcs around. They all start, they all start coming up, and they all start dancing. You know, like, oh, and Tiny's like, Ugh. no one seems to be really enjoying it. You see, the chief is kind of just staring off in the like in the direction this way. And the crowd, and you, you can you see everyone's really enjoying. See, even though they're drunk, they're all kind of getting up and going, ah, they're all like dancing around to the best abilities. Yeah, everyone's enjoying it. <laughs> and you play for about half an hour, and then you finish the song. This is a long song, and you finish it. And the magic goes. You feel like the flute's magic is quite quite a spent at the moment, so it might need quite a bit of time to rec recuperate its magic. Recharge. You used a lot of its magic okay. with that roll, so it, you overused what its normal limit is, so you really pushed it there. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> everyone's like, everyone's like, the orc chief goes, everyone's just clapping, the orc chief says, says, well, everyone enjoy yourselves, I'm going to go back to the tent. He seems to go back to the tent. <laughs> He's like, is he upset? You can't tell. 
he's so serious you, you can't really tell he just kind of walks back in the tent he said he said he applauded you and said good work he goes back inside and everyone everyone seems to be kind of wrapping up themselves and <laughs> dragging themselves back into their tents some of them just sleeping on the floor tiny tiny's fast passed out now <laughs> what do you want to do i drag tiny I dragged Tiny to his father's tent to his room. And he goes, Oh, Tiny, uh. He goes, Oh, uh, good kid he is. And he kind of leans over. He goes, Such a daft kid. And Tiny, it seems, it seems something, say, seems something off about him. I said, What's wrong? He said, I, I said, I swear I saw my wife in your song. And it kind of just took me back for a moment. That's all. He says, I, I say I willed the magic to show everyone's loved ones. I saw her dancing there. She loved that flute, you know, the the one you're playing. She used to always play it. Yeah. When Tiny was born, uh, even though she was in no condition, she refused and demanded to play the fruit. You think I'm you think I'm a big scary brute, you should see her when she's mad. <gasps> he kinda of chuckles to himself. <laughs> <laughs> and she uh, played him a flute on his birth and so it was meant a lot to us. Uh, 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 he kinda of just kinda of, he's kinda of just staring off so he kinda of seems he's kinda of just staring off a tiny he goes, Yeah. But he's a good kid. You know. And thanks thanks for being there for my boy. I appreciate it. And you know, son, I understand you fell out with your kingdom, but you should really go back to your home at some point. Don't forget your people. Sometimes you realize they're all you got. And I know that sometimes you don't want to be who you want to be. You know, maybe you're born in a place you don't like or this and that, but you don't have to be your father. You can be a greater king. You know, we weren't always perfect. We had a tyrant at one point, but our people didn't stand for him. And they threw him out. And you know, I bet you'll, you'll find in your own people that people won't agree if your father's rules are unfair. So, maybe one day you should go and become the king you deserve to be. You know what, son? What do you say to that? He's like, BOOM! Philosophered! <laughs> no, he didn't say that. <laughs> He's like, <"Ugh!" laughs> Got to the ground. <laughs> I, I say, you're right. I was quite selfish. That's all right, kid. You, you know, it ain't easy. It ain't easy, and especially if your, your, your father, your mother, whoever it is, is meant to guide you in your position. They're meant to give you the reassurance, you know, to, to be the one that holds you back and push you up. It isn't your fault if you fail. It's the failure of the parent that couldn't push you there. You know what I mean? Like I haven't been the best father to Tiny. I've been so busy with this war. And everything, and I've been so hard on him. I know it's been bothering him, but I, you know, times are hard on me, and I had to, you know, do what I had to do. But I want to be a better father for Tiny. As a, as a, as a king, or ba basically a chief, or basically the same thing. He said we didn't have a kingdom. He says as a ruler, um, there's a lot of pressure on your back, and you kind of forget everyone else. So well, that's just my perspective for it, son. And he kind of says, I'm going to go sleep, so you look after yourself, son. You've got a big day ahead of you. And he kind of walks off and goes to bed. And you see the old chief. You see the old chief. He seems all packed up and ready. He says, uh, Alistair, I'm heading out now, okay? I'll be back in about four hours, all right? Okay. He comes up to you. He says, if I don't come back, all right, follow this map, all right? I take the map. If I'm not here in the morning, follow that. Follow that, and then you'll find what I hid. And he goes off. And he's gone. And he drowns. <laughs> what did you do? What did you do if he drowned? He got stuck in the pool. <laughs> he fucking drowned. <laughs> 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 he fucking drowned. He's like, Whoa. he gets stuck in time. <laughs> I really want to do that, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, because he's an he's he's very wise. He's not stupid. That wouldn't happen to him. <laughs> right. So, what do you want to do? Uh, I am going to. Uh... I think I want to go to the forge. Alright, so you go to Tiny's, so you go in, 
You see an orc sleeping on the floor as you go in, and a little, a little thing. You see the forge, Tiny's, Tiny's father's forge. It is fucking massive. You've never seen a forge. It seems to be a custom-built forge. It seems to be a kind of scrap, quick-built-together forge. He seems to have bent the iron himself, the shape of the chimney and all of it. it seems to be like a custom-made forge for his father. Quite a big one. You see a huge bit of fucking metal that he's kind of bent into the shape of an anvil. <laughs> so, and you can see the imprints of his, and you can see on the side his glove, his massive glove with the with the hammer and the brass knuckle parts and the runes on it that he's using that he used for forge making. And you can see the co the uh, the cold coal pile in the center. You see a bunch of ores on the side as well. You see iron and stuff. And all the Is ores. there any wood? Any wood you can... Yeah, there's a wood pile. I'm gonna take a piece of... Two pieces of wood. Nope. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the more you're, you're, you know, you're part... You're basically seen as part of the clan now. So you are welcome to take, you know, they see you as a clan now. So it's not stealing. So you take the two pieces of wood and you put it in your inventory. You gain two of... Two... Two mag lesser magical wood. Because all this mud, the, the use of fire burning has to be magical. Oh right, yeah. Oh, you don't have I the. About the magic wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's because of the, the king's magic. <laughs> and I look around to see if there's a carving knife. A carving knife. Roll and see if you see there's a carving knife. A carving knife. There is no carving knife. <laughs> so a carving knife? No! There is not a carving knife! And you'll never find one! No matter where you look, you'll never see a carving knife. No, there's no carving knife in there. You only see Tiny's father's tools that seem to be larger version of normal smithing tools. <laughs> he seems to have custom... Okay. He seems to be... You see that he must be a master blacksmith. Because he seems to know what the fuck he's doing with blacksmithing. So you can see you can probably make up to... Legendary we level weapons. He seems he seems a very talented forward master. Yeah, you can tell by the setup alone that this guy knows what the fuck he's doing. Uh, I'm gonna commission him to make me some armor then. Yeah, you can do that in the morning. Um, you, I'm, you yeah, I'm gonna do that in the morning. I'm looking. I'm gonna go looking uh, at uh, for a, like what looks like a craftsman area. Craftsman, like a like a woodsman area. Yeah, like, you know, like, where crafters do their work. Okay, well, there's three, you've got, so what you've got is the big tent, you've got the forge tent, you've got three other tents here, you've got, you've got the guest gonna, tent, but you've never been in these two right. tents, so you don't know what's in them. Okay, I'm gonna go look in this tent. Go in the tent, and you see what looks like food and piles, you see, you see wolf pelts, you see deer pelts. You see different animal pelts. You see fucking. It looks like a bunch of, bunch of meat that seems to be on drying racks and stuff. So it seems like some kind of food shack. The look of it, it looks like well, that's where they got all their food in. You can see that there. You can see that near the food, that there are, there's ice. There's ice with with it looks like runes on it. Oh, I'm gonna check that out. You walk over, and you see that this ice is slowly animating cold like normal, but it doesn't seem to be shrinking at all. It doesn't seem to be... seems to stay the same size no matter... You stand there for five minutes and it doesn't change size at all. It seems to just be constantly producing cold around the fruit and stuff. And you think to yourself, this might be the work of the... This might be the work of the elder in the village. As, as he told you, right. he, was, he was one of the... One of the one of the one of the great clan, uh, one of the elder council so you think this might be his work right because you know the rune mining is not That's the king's awesome. you see it's not the king's magic though you see the rune mining is not any rune mining you've ever seen and it looks kind of because it's basic magical magic it looks like magical runes but a bit altered but it seems to be orcish which you didn't even realize orc orcish. runes you think to yourself do orc runes exist never even thought they could have those <laughs> So, no, I didn't. Looks like, uh, <clears throat> what do you want to do? So, orcs are quite big, right? Yeah. So, Most... I'm looking, I'm looking for, like, a baby knife. 
a baby like knife. My size. A baby knife. And here. This is okay. Like a baby carving knife. Fourteen. You look around, and you see, you see like a. You, the only thing you see smallish is cooking implement, like a meat cleaver, about your size. But you do not see a knife. A meat cleaver. Yeah. No? Okay. All right. I'm going to leave that tent and go check out the other. You walk in. I'm not going to take their food because it's all they have. You see an orc sleeping in like a little net thing. They go, oh, and they go, oh, hey, oh, and they go back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? Do you say anything? He's like, hey, oh, sir. and he looks like he's about to pass back out. <laughs> do I know his name? You don't know this orc, but he knows you. Huh. I say... Sleepy sleep, sleepy sleep. <laughs> okay, so you see that you see wood piles, you see stone, you see iron, you see copper, you see um, you see marble, you see like what looks like a big workstation. And this seems to be the main stock area, also slash craftsman area. Okay. I look around for uh, <laughs> uh, wood, uh, what wood do you crafting call it? or wood carving. Oh. <laughs> you look around, you do find wood carving stuff, but it's quite big. It's almost like a weapon to you. <laughs> it's quite large, so it's going to be hard to use for the purpose you wish. It can be, but it's 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 a bit unweirdable for your size. Unfortunately, you don't find anything for your size. Unfortunately, it seems it's more tethered toward orcs. Unfortunately, they seem to be orc made tethering right, tools. Well, I guess I'll go back to my tent and go to bed then. You go back to your tent. And you walk out your tent and you trip over something. Wait, has it been four hours? Four hours? Until what? No. For the old man to come back? No, no it's only been an hour. So you trip over something. I'll. I look to see what I tripped over. You look where you see trip over and you see a little a little blue fluffy thing. It's a really tiny little blue fluffy thing. And it goes poof and it kinda of bumps into your foot and it kinda of like rolls around. It's like a little blue fluffy thing, you don't know what the fuck it is. <laughs> it's just kinda of just rolling around it seems to be rolling around in circles. I uh I grab it and pick it up. You grab it and pick it up and, go, and then you like pick up this tiny little blue Blue thing, it kind of, it's kind of shifting around and fluffing around. It seems so fluffy. You can't really see any eyes or anything, but it seems to be. A, you feel warmth coming from it, so it feels it's like a, a fluff ball. Yeah, it feels like a fluff ball, but it feels alive. Do you want to roll to inspect it? Huh. Yeah. Right, you don't see you don't you don't see much, but you do see you move back a bit further. And you do see two little itty bitty eyes looking at you. It's so, so small, that little it'd be pecs, and then kind of kind of rolls around and moves, and you don't see it anymore. And it just keeps on, and it keeps on like moving around in your hand. It's I like tick it, I tickling I your hand. I over to where the food is, mm -hmm. where everybody's passed out, and I take, I get a piece of meat, and I see if it'll eat it. Put the meat on it, it kind of goes over it, and then it goes, kind of, and it leaves the meat. It doesn't touch the meat. Uh... I pick up like a vegetable and put like lettuce or something and I put it in front of it. It goes over it. It doesn't seem to eat it. So what do you eat, little guy? And it's like it's like running is that it's kinda of rolling around and it kinda of goes in the tent. <laughs> it kinda of goes zooms into the tent. It's going it goes real quick. It goes real it zooms in. When it wants to go quick, you go in, you're like you're looking around for it, you can't find it. <laughs> oh no, I look around for it. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. So you look around, it's really hard to notice, but you do notice it in one of the food crates. It's like fluffing around, moving around in the food crate. You go over I gotta see what it's doing. You see it's eating straw. You see little straw. You see it's going like going over little strawberries. And you see little tiny bite marks on the strawberries. <sighs> okay. Hang on one second. I gotta let my dog out. All right. She's whining. Whiny baby. baby Whiny baby. Whining. Whining. And whining away. What a baby.
Du, 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 du. Hi, future Jack. This is me, Mega. So I'm talking to you, Jack, in the future. One, you're stinky. All right, I'm watching this. Two, you're smelly. All right, let's be honest, you're smelly. Three, you're just a baby. Look at you. Look at tiny one. I could hold you as a baby. Look, look, look. Look at you. You're a baby. This is you. You're a baby. Look at this. You're a baby. Number five. You're. You're American. Mm, that's stinky. Uh, here you come, here you come. <laughs> yeah. You're not gonna know that until the future. <laughs> it's eating strawberries? Yeah, it seems to be like, like, you see little bite marks on a, straw on a strawberry. It's like going over the strawberry over and over again, and little bite marks on it. Uh, is there, is there a bag nearby? You want to look for a bag? You do see what looks like a, a couple of bags near that seem to be holding grapes and stuff. And you see like a spare bag next to it. I pick up the spare bag and put like 10 strawberries in it. Okay. And I take the little guy and the one that he's been eating off of, and I take him back to my tent. Yeah, you put him in. You, you, do you put do you put him in the put him in the back? No, I just hold him in my arm like this. So he's like fluffing around. He tickles you because it tickles. He's moving around. He's like, Boo! and he like, makes some noise. And it seems to not be letting go. That it seems to be. That you see the little strawberry moving around, and it's far. And you take it back. You take it back to your tent. What do you want to do? Just a baby. Bye, uh, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until the elder is supposed to be back and see if he comes back or not. Okay. And then I'm gonna go check. I shall roll for the. And then I'm gonna go to bed. I shall roll for the elder on the elder's journey. How about this? The true D and D way. The dice will determine the elder's fate if he shall return, or will he die? This this is gonna deter. This roll will determine his fate. All right, because that will be that's more D and D style, isn't it? Oh no. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, isn't it? It's D&D &D, though, right? It's the, the way of D&D. &D. So this this will this dice will determine if this man for his entire life will end at this moment. He lives. <laughs> he returns. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. So you hear, you hear someone you hear someone walking around and he's like oh. I, uh, I walk out with the fluff in one arm, and, uh, I say, Oh, so you made it. He goes, yeah, it was, why you got a bop? A what? A bop. Why do you have a bop? Little things. What's little a buggers. bop? Little buggers that roll around all the time. They're quite, they're cave dwellers. They'll have a little nest in cave and feed off of berries and small fruits. Itty bitty things they are. I say it's kind of... I say it's kind of cute. This is, yeah, they're, they're a bit rarer. I think there's a, a nest of them in the cave. I'll let him go, though. He's probably got a family. But I don't want to keep him. And I kind of just like, I'm like oh, well, well, you be, he goes, oh, you'd be taken away from everyone. You'll get really sad. And they're only meant to live in caves. If you take him outside, he won't be able to survive. That cold will kill him. He won't be able to live for that. It's up to I you. Take a strawberry out of the bag. He kind of goes, he kind of rubs into your little feet and kind of rolls off, kind of rolls off real quick this way. And he goes, it's all right, the, the little guys. You're, if you want to ever find one, they are rare though. Um, but they're in the caves in these lands. Um, a bit rarer now due to all the cold, but they're there and there. He goes anyway. He goes, oh god, I almost, I almost actually ran into a group of fucking. 
the, the kingsmen they were they're, they're, they're combing these forests i almost bumped into them by a miracle there was a big enough rock for me to hide behind so i didn't get caught <laughs> but so, yeah there hmm? there was a, like a legion that was going into that dungeon the, found the... yeah of course they are the king's offering a platinum for this thing I think he upped the bounty of it recently. He's really he, he he'll 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 kill an entire he'll kill as many people as he wants to get this. I cannot express how much he will kill for this thing. It's like his key to everything. So that's why he can never get it. It is hidden in a location that I only know. He says, "If you give me the map, I'll destroy the map, and then I will only know it. And I shall not reveal this information, even if it was to kill me or anyone else here." Because a lot more people will die than just this clan if this gets out. So he takes it, he rips it up, and he goes, you know, and you see blue flames appear and it burns. Yes, good riddance. He goes, I'm a mage, by the way, if you can tell. <laughs> I say, I saw the runes in the, uh... Ah, oh, you did. Uh, well, we found out food stays yeah. colder, colder with cold, and there's so much ice around. Get a big enough ice cube and get a... Uh, uh, enough lesser monster cores, you can craft a rune, and it's a bit of or 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 orcish tech. It's uh, orcish runes, and it causes the uh, instead of using the ice, it uses the the magic from the lesser con monster cores to create more ice. And I just put, and it makes just enough to keep it cool enough. To a bit. I say I have a rune tool, and I pull out my rune tool. He goes. And he goes, oh, he goes, that's, I don't know about it, it, that is a dwarven rune tool, he goes, let me look at it, I can summon it for you if you wish, so due to his level, because he's a, he is a, he's a, he's an inte immensely intelligent, he has a plus 10 to intelligence, by the way, this guy, he's a fucking genius, where's my red dice, uh, he, he is, only because he was a part of the, uh, the, the, he was literally re leading, of the elder council of these people so that's why he's that smart he is right. a philosopher so you're not going to come across many smart people like him so even with his like he gets a 10 out of 15 so he goes ah it's a dwarven it seems to be a uh, about a medium tier dwarven uh rune crafter designed to craft ruven ruven tools into dwarven tech or stone or stuff he said they're more better for stone or dwarven technology you can use them for different purposes but it won't be as effective um, because this one's alright, no, it doesn't have a, its little crystal to power it, uh, you might need to get a dwarven crystal to power it for you, normally found in the mountains, or the dwarven mountains, or just bite off a dwarf, <laughs> here you go, and he hands it over to you. I say, okay, I put it back in my bag. He goes, say, well, he goes, his name was, uh, his, his name was Sean, apparently, he has his name carved into it. <gasps> oh, yeah. <laughs> he goes, alright, you look a bit sad there. <laughs> Was he a friend or something? He says <laughs> Quite nice of him to He goes, quite nice of him to give you this. Normally dwarves don't hand these kind of things over. They're normally given them to the normally given them by their parents or loved ones, normally, but he must have been his good friend. Anyway, it's done. So this is that either. I just dab you, just dab you. Oh, you're a bad, bad, bad. <laughs> you're evil. <laughs> You'll never. I'll never let it go. <laughs> right, so, <laughs> so he goes. It's done. It's hidden. I'm the only one that knows its location. I will not hand it over for no matter means. And I'm. No one can force my. There will be no, there is no will magic that can bend me due to my intelligence level. So don't you worry, boy. It's safe with me. I kind of slump my shoulders and I say, I guess that means we have to get ready for tomorrow. Unfortunately, yes, son. But like everything, the storm does not last forever, and the sun will soon rise when the storm passes. This is like a very, 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 very long storm, but it's not infinite. It shall pass, and the sun shall rise again, and that is what we must look for. I agree. He nods and he says, I'm gonna go sleep. I'm fucking exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, night boy. <laughs> and he goes, he goes, he goes off to bed and he goes, Who are you? You're not the elder. He goes, oh, I'm not the elder. I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> he sees he sees a clone of himself in there. And he's like, "Who the fuck are you?" And he's like, oh, "I'm the elder." <laughs> they refuse to make the Omega elder. <laughs> All right. So, you want to go back in your tent because everyone everyone's everyone's inside yeah. now because it's a bit colder. So everyone's everyone's in bed. The babies are inside. So except the guard, except the guard, but they're a bit drunk. But there's only one guard watching. So what do you want to do? I'm gonna go into my bedroom and I'm gonna go to sleep. I go to sleep and the day has ended. And the morning arises. And you wake up fully rested. What do you wanna do? <laughs> wow. What? <laughs> <laughs> Listen. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna look for the uh, um the chief. So you go out and you see the chief standing up out there next to the elder and he goes, Ah, oh, Alistair, you're awake this time. I say uh I say, uh, okay. I guess I have to lead them out of the caves. He goes, yes, make sure they get there safely, please. He goes, listen, we're putting a lot of trust in you. And, you know, please, I, I want your word. I, w I would like your word as a prince, please, <laughs> if you could, to try your best. Might reassure some people here. I, I will. You have my word. I will, I will die trying. I shall tell the people. That is good. I shall reassure some unsettled people here by the decision. So he turns and he walks when he says, people... It has come time where we must make a sacrifice. One we do not wish to make, but they have chosen of their free will for the sake of our entire clan. I hold them a great respect for these two, and their names will be scratched down forever as the heroes of our people. But we hold hope that one day they shall return to our loving arms as the rest of our families have been taken. Alistair, and he turns to you, and everyone looks at you. <laughs> And Tiny Tiny comes over and he goes, Hey buddy, my head really hurting, but I'm ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> I got a big backpack full of supplies. <laughs> All kind of things. I say I say now they might come in here with the army. With the, the military. The outer goes you guys understand that. Outer, I have informed everyone. Everyone knows we shall people will hold their tongue for now. They, the other goes, they might set up a temporary, they might set up a establish something here and we're just going to have to deal with it. So just be aware if you come again, they might, their presence might be here. But we obviously our allegiance is with you. Understand that, okay? He says. I, I, I bow my head. Tiny wants to join. I say, well. And you get a notification in the heavens. Tiny wants to join. Tiny, no, Tiny wants to join our world. <laughs> He's like, hey guys, I came to real life. <laughs> no, Tiny wanted to join. <laughs> you want him to join? I guess you can say hi. We can put him yeah. to bed. Okay. So, the two guys walk on and go, they go, all right, ready. <laughs> go, I'm ready to die. And he goes, ah, don't be so negative. Yeah, you're all right. <laughs> 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 all right. All right, so we... I lead Tiny and the two girls out of the cave, and out, and then and we'll do the next scene when we move on. What do you? What did you think of the the village so far? The village scene. I love them. I love. I really do. I love these people. Yeah, you like what I did? I'm glad you're enjoying. Yeah. I'm glad you're enjoying the story. <laughs> that would have been so funny. The fuck. I was, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. That's what I was about to say. If the elder died, I would have been so mad. I, I wanted to do it because it's like because he's because he is going out in a forest combing by guards. It does kind of make sense. There's a risk in it. You know what I mean? I gotta yeah, throw it. Does, it. It completely makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> <a> player. <laughs> <laughs> the connection to this whole thing. <laughs> Did I get okay with making like the fields? Did you think that was like good? That was my first like proper like development of characters like or the village like. I think this is the most developed I've it ever done. It was fucking phenomenal. Good, I'm glad I'm glad I'm recording it. <laughs> right, so let's get these girls out here with you guys and we'll go to the outside. Hey Techno. Oh you're an E boy. You're an E boy? E boy. You look tired. E boy. E boy. What the fuck you a fuck boy now? E boy. 
You're a footballer now, you're Egg boy. Egg boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, football, Exactly. What have you been up to, Tanya? My girlfriend's section. Oh, what mental? Oh, what the mental thing? Oh, how come? She tried to kill herself. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, man. Well, Her she... dad came out and said, oh. you're not loved, we don't like you, you're a mistake, I wish I hadn't had you. Oh, fucking hell, cross it. Well, at least she's in a place well, she where was she's... At least she's safe, so... Yeah, she's okay. Okay, that's yeah, good. she's okay. Um, yeah, yeah, it looks like a real nice room, with a big fat camera in the corner, a bunch of sensors above there. One's probably to detect fire, one's to put water out, and the other one's to prevent furry-itis. Furry-itis. Yeah. Where the fur gets everywhere and plugs up all the instruments. <laughs> uh. Right, so I need to. Uh. Uh. Well, that sounds stressful. Remind me of my mum's dog. Uh. Yeah, so she's uh, gonna be mm -hmm. doing a thing for another 20 days over there. I just gave them their phone back, so. I got that message earlier when I was over in Neos talking to someone. Hot dang! Someone got out of the Neos when they got $150,000 and they found a way to get around the tax deal. Have you tra There's a way to transfer your crypto straight to your credit card, mm -hmm. which means yeah. you're not converting it. Hot dang! Well, well that's pretty good. I also, I also found out some more stuff about Carol. Someone wanted to withdraw their money from the crypto. Mm hmm. And they said they were blackmailing with it, and then they fired them and everything. They don't like Carol because of a lot of other things Carol did. Carol yeah. seems like an anime villain, to be honest. Anime crypto enemy. My stand is... Bit, uh, oh. Ca uh, Johnny Cash. Uh, my... my uh, each each birds, each one of these guys birds, birds. each one of these guys represent five people by the way so it's like a, there's a pr pretty big force out here okay of the whole village okay oh crap yeah there's a really big force and you can see the head priest is the head fanboy priest is right here yes. and they go <laughs> they go you walk out and the head priest the rose priest goes Oof, and the whole the whole the whole river freezes I just figured something out here mm hmm you're the human, and you're creating a maze for the dog or cat to run through. <laughs> <laughs> he likes watching you fight. You're his, you're, you're his fighting dog. Yeah. Actually, he's making a trade deal. That's me. They're, they're coming. They're coming. Mean. They're coming. Uh, these the head priest is taking the females of this village due to the king's demand, and Jack is home. Uterus theft. I'll save me by running away. <laughs> so the guys walk. Oh, save the uteruses and the women connected to them. Watch yes. this. They've got cooties. Don't touch them, priest. It's like. Oh. It's just gonna freeze I them. I could make this. I could just make. <laughs> I suppose those are women, not boys. He just leaves. Does he well, even talk? To well, the the the, the, the king the king is the king is a gay fanboy. So, <laughs> so anyway, the scene. Let me let me do the scene, okay? Let me do the scene. So this is an important scene. So don't interrupt, okay? okay. Uh, let me do it. Let me do it. Just no, I, I came to see you guys. Uh, I'll go. Uh, okay. Well, nice catch. If there's someone else I can harass. Nice catching up with you, little baby. Look after yourself, all right? Uh, yeah, I'll hug you too, baby. Big hug. I shall try. Mm, look after yourself. Nitro right? mail. What on earth is that? Ah. <laughs> no, you have fun, little baby. No baby, you boy. Wish this isn't a girl avatar. Wait a minute. What? He's trans. Oh, uh, someone I know is mildly uh, homophobic, but they're always in a girl avatar. Okay. And I'm like, well, they're not transphobic then. <laughs> 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 the wag. They're normally, they're normally like that because they're already in denial most of the time. <sighs> Ah, uh, he's a real hard cat, cat to piddle the fish, to judge, to try, well, not fish. judge, to try and get a bead on, understand, but, yeah. 
It, they're not. They're not really homophobic. They're just creeped out by it. Fair enough. Okay, no, 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 like I hate you, but we do He's just like you. Whatever. But he's really complicated. Yeah, he's it's really complicated. He's really complex. Uh, <laughs> I'm such a complex person. I'm just unique like that. I'm just uh, an individual oh, that's so complex. I'm playing. Go oh, hang out with. Go hang oh, out with oh, someone. I'm oh, playing. I'll say it like this. No. He's slightly intellectually British. Yeah, <laughs> Andrew's British, and the Queen and the British are uh, <laughs> complaining, whinging. Dude, <laughs> dude, I had to put my D and D character. Right, I had to play as a positive person, but I'm British, so I whine about everything. So I was trying to whine, whine positively about stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everything's great. Uh, complain about. Uh, oh, I got hurt, and the NH actually came over and fixed it with magic. <laughs> magic. All right, oh, go on. I'm getting healthier. Go on, get out of here, little baby. Go oh. play. Go play, little baby. Boop. Right, so <laughs> the Amada stands outside the camp, and you see the head priest, and he goes, Reese, and the whole the whole you see huge ice that just plummers the entire river, freezes solid. You see the freeze, you see the fish sw frozen solid. The two girls kind of take a step back, and Tony's like, Tony's like, oh, that guy looks scary, and he goes, he goes, oh, that's good, I didn't. Bit of a shame, I didn't want to use these guys. I didn't want to use these guys, but it seems they actually applied, like you said. Yeah, you see the priest and go, oh, that's a shame. <laughs> he goes, good work, Alistair. Bring forth the two girls. And they kind of they kind of look at you. <laughs> I, I say, come on, girls. And I take them by the hands, mm -hmm. and I'll, I lead them across the, across the river. And she goes, if I'm going to die, uh, make sure you, uh, I, I, I can't think of anything. <laughs> <laughs> so you go there and the priest goes, Ah, girls, finally. All this effort for such a little thing. And they're re you can see they're really holding it back to say something to him, but they're holding it in. Well, they seem quite intimidated by him. And he comes up to you and he goes, Ah, good work, Alistair. I like, I'm, good, I'm glad that you could help out here. And he throws you, he throws you a bit of, he throws you a coin purse. And he goes, Right, now these two cards. Um, the guards come over and they grab the girls. And they get pawn away. Over here, and you can see the two ice mages come over and they freeze them into like little ice cubes. The guards kind of lift them up and put them on a carriage. And you see the guards are getting ready to pack up I and move. I have to figure out what they're doing with the girls. And you see they've been frozen, so they're not dead. Because this is like this isn't like magic. Right. This isn't ice that kills them. This is magic ice. You know they're not dead. I'll tell you that much. They're not dead. They're just frozen in place. It's magic ice, so it doesn't kill them. So they're frozen in place. You see the priests have set them up on there. The guards take them off the carriage. You come over, and the priest seems to be grinning. By the way, do you want to? The coin purse holds three silver for you. Three silver. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just gonna pocket it for right now. Okay, so Tiny Tiny kind of comes over next to you. He goes, oh, "Who's the little orc here?" Tiny doesn't really say anything. He seems a bit this scared. Is my I say this is I say this is my friend Tiny. And he goes, and he goes "Good to meet you, Tiny." And he goes, oh, "Hi." <laughs> and he goes, "He says no need to be afraid, Tiny. We're all gonna be friends now. Now that you guys have decided to join our kingdom properly, there's no more problems between us." Because you're not going to kill everyone. I'm not going to kill everyone. Want to. I look at Tiny and said, I said, I made sure that no one's going to get killed. He goes, okay. And he goes, anyway. So, like I told you, the guards will be going in there. Because we need to check something real quick, okay? And the guards, so you see about, you see about 20, you see about 20 guards pass you two. And you see the two, the, the two iPhone boy mates, which you notice they're floating, by the way. They seem to be in different type of clothing. They seem kind of like in battle, battle clothing than normal, the normal priest clothing. They kind of pass you guys. They all go in there. <laughs> and they go in the village. He says, um, well, you solved it peacefully, Alistair. So well done there. You know, normally it's. No, it's all violence with orcs, but I guess they're not all that, are they? And he kind of chuckles and so goes. You're like, uh -huh. <laughs> 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 you're like, uh huh. 
<laughs> and he kind of chuckles to himself. And he goes, well, is Tiny joining you in your little adventure? He says, yeah. I say, yes, he is. Tiny is going to be joining me. And Tiny goes, yes, yes. And he goes, Tiny, can I ask you what you think of the king? And he, he asks kind of why. And he goes, uh, king is a man who is who likes ice. He does like ice, Tiny. That is true. <laughs> he goes, uh, he he's smart, right? And he goes, yes, he is smart. Oh, so divine. <laughs> that face goes. That's good, Tiny. I think you'll be quite fine in our cities. Just behave yourself now. And he goes, oh yes, yes, yes. And he goes, well, if you guys would like, you can take the cart back to the main city with, back to the main city, or you're going to the. You said you're going to the uh, the mercenary city. All right, I'll let you go there. If you do yeah. want to travel to the main city, we are going there, but that's up to you if you want to go. I say, isn't your military might in the mercenary city? The, mil the military might is in the mercenary city. Our main, um, now hold on. Our main force, he says, is in the capital. The most powerful. Say, isn't your military might in the mercenary city? Across the old man that they're missing the to appear. <sighs> Uh, hey, isn't your military uh, might in the mercenary uh, city? Uh, I also cry. Ah! Uh, that they're missing to appear. Ah! Uh, you were looping so much. Okay. Uh, oh no, you're back! Uh, I thought I crashed back. there. What lagged me out so much? Okay, well. Anyway, he goes, hold on. The main might of our... Know, he said, the main might of our power is in the main citadel, but about a quarter, quarter of the army is in the uh, military and city. But the main might is in the main city. Why? He asks. I, I say, we're, well, I just want to find the best place to enlist. The list? Well, any of the cities. The capital, I mean. He said you could do it in the capital. I'm going there. I could directly take you there. Or you could go to the military city if you wish. Either places. As long as it has some one of a, a... Some one of a guard force there, you will be able to enlist. So really anywhere. Apart from the villages. You won't be able to enlist in the villages. I say, well, uh, might as well go to the biggest place then. He says you're going to love the main city. It really is a wonder. The great king has built a beautiful place. We're also having a ball today. Maybe if you're lucky enough, you might be able to invite it to it, huh, Alistair? What an honor for you, right? He says. It would be an honor, actually, yeah. yeah absolutely, I'm sure you'd like. Come on, then, you two. You can jump on our carriage. And he kind of floats onto the carriage. And it's quite a big, large, uh, like a large... Now, you see, this is a royal carriage. Because you can tell the difference between... Because you're a royal, you can tell the difference between royalty and non-royalty items. Even if they are slightly different, you don't recognize everything, you can tell the difference between royal or not. This is a royal okay. uh, carriage. So, you both get on the back of it, you sit in these, like, these fucking seats. You sit down, they're like, oh my god. It's the first time you sat in a seat since when you've been at your dad's castle that's been that good. You see, you've been so used to the best, <laughs> the posh shit, that everything else has been like hell. This feels like like home. You're like, oh, you like melt. Let's see, Tony's like, Tony's like, whoa. <laughs> And the priest you know, goes and chuckles and he goes, hey, you guys had proper seats in that cave there, probably not right. <laughs> I, 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 like, I relax into the seat, but I keep, like, like, uh, like the, like a, you know, royal kind of, no. I'm always keeping, like, a royal kind of air about me, like, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. Always carrying myself. So... And what time is it? So I think we should show this. So, okay, we will pause that because I don't want these video. I don't want these recordings getting too long. So I need to start uploading them. So okay. we'll stop there for now because it's almost 12. It's 12 in the morning, uh, 12 in the afternoon. So what did you think so far? And then we will begin when you reach the city. Uh, I thought it was really good. I liked it. You like that? You like that? So the, vi lot, yeah. the village now, the status of the village is, is under the control of the king. They are not dead, they are under the control of the king. So they are all safe. And they will... The artifact is not found in that, obviously. So they are all safe. Okay, so you know that this village is safe. But it is... It is under control of the capital, though. They are under control of the capital. Because that was the... That, that wasn't the choice. <laughs> it's that or die. So they had to do that. So... And you are moving, you are currently, so next time you'll be moving, we'll start you in moving with the main, with a royal cart, with the head 
with the head priest, who is the head, <laughs> the natural head. And these are, I couldn't spawn in the royal guards. These are royal guards, okay? These are like elite guards that are in okay. this carriage. And the two frozen girls. And Tiny's with you too. <laughs> so, and you have, you are, the priest likes you so far, by the way. You are, the priest likes you. And he seems, he seems, he, see, he sees you as useful. So he likes you quite a bit so far. Okay. Well, yeah. that's good. All right. So that's where you, that is where the story is so far. Um, so you save the village. Because that was a parallel reality where, where they all die. <laughs> <laughs> and that, there's a parallel reality. By the way, if I rolled low, if he had rolled low, I would have had him got stuck in that water punt tunnel. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, have had, I'd have had him got stuck in it. Oh, no. <laughs> I couldn't have helped it. <laughs> or you'd have got killed by a guard, guard patrol that would have caught him and something and got the, and they would have got the fragment. Now, by the way, the fragment, the fragments are pretty, the fragments are pretty important. So you have one, so the fragments are normally in temples, by the way, to your knowledge. So this is the knowledge that you've been told as a character. So I need to tell you that you, because you know this, you have been informed that the fragments are fractured into different temples of the sun around the, the, the continent. The king has one fragment, okay? The king does have a fragment, only one, and you have a hidden, fra you've, you've hidden a fragment the only person knows where that is is the old man at the moment okay so he's the only one that knows the current location um so that's that's the condition of that so that's the basically world's story arc by the way okay that all sound good to you sounds good can i hear some feedback so what do you like yeah the, uh, you like it i like the character development and everything yeah th this was like fucking playing a book I'm glad, I'm glad you're enjoying it, and I'm recording it too, yeah. so I'm glad, you're, I'm glad you're enjoying it, so you can get it all in, and we'll continue it. I might need a set, I might need a bit of time just to upload all the videos, because I can't have my PC filling up, so you might just need to, I don't know, we should be able to do it tomorrow, but it's Onyx's birthday tomorrow, and I want to see what's going on with Onyx's birthday, so I'll message them in the morning, ask them what's going on. They're probably going to say I have no all idea, right. like they normally do, but we'll see what's going on tomorrow. So Todd Bulldog that too. Moogle's on. Who's on? Moogle is? Who's on? Moogly 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 Moogly. Is he on Ask Me or? Yeah, he's on Ask Me. Moogly mm. Moogly. He's on. Let me stop my recording because that's probably gone on for like four hours. Uh.